The Unicorn Rescue Society, The Creature of the Pines, written by Adam Gidwitz. Chapter 1. Elliot Eisner stood at the front of the bus, and looking down the long aisle. Every seat was full. The other children scowled at him. At least, Elliot was pretty sure they were scowling at him. He was the new kid, starting school three weeks into the new school year. Who starts a new school three weeks into the year, he thought. Three weeks. It's far too late to make friends. The year is practically over. Elliot considered turning around and walking back to his new house, where his mom and grandma were unpacking boxes, but that would just make things worse. Tomorrow, when he was forced to come back to school, he would be the kid who flipped out and run away on his first day. Not a good first impression. Worst of all, his class was going on a field trip on his very first day of school. Things just weren't supposed to work like that. He wasn't prepared. Elliot sighed and began to walk slowly down the length of the bus. Maybe there were a couple of empty seats in the back. The kids stared at him. He slouched past. They think I'm a weirdo. This made no sense. Elliot was not a weirdo. He was a normal kid. A little pale, kind of skinny, lots of curly brown hair. Perfectly normal. But Elliot did not feel normal. Not on his first day, at a new school, on a field trip he was not prepared for, surrounded by kids he did not know. There were some empty seats in the back. One was next to a big boy with a shaved head who smiled at him and then farted. Elliot would not be sitting there. There was a seat next to a girl who was digging in her nose like she'd lost something. Then she found it. Elliot would not be sitting there either. Finally, he saw a seat in the very last row next to a girl who looked like the lead singer in a punk rock band. She wore a gray jean jacket and gray jeans and red high tops, and her hair was an explosion of black twists. The girl was rocking back and forth like she was listening to music, but there were no earphones in her ears. This one's hosting her own silent disco, Elliot thought, but at least she's not finding buried treasure up her nose or playing the tuba through her butt. He sat down next to her. She stopped rocking. Hi, she said. I'm Euchenna. I'm Elliot. I'm new here. Obvious. Elliot Lee silently shouted at himself. Don't say things that are obvious. This is my first day. Everybody knows that. Even though school started three weeks ago. Uh, why are you stating facts that everyone knows? Euchenna said. I was new last year. I didn't start school till after Christmas. You see, she already... Wait. What? Then Elliot said, I thought I was the only hapless weirdo starting a new school in the middle of the year. Euchenna threw her head back and laughed. No, she said, there's two of us. And that is how Elliot Eisner and Euchenna Devereaux became friends. To learn more about Elliot and Euchenna's new friendship, check out the Unicorn Rescue Society, The Creature of the Pines, in the school library. Mm -hmm.